Yo, huddle up, 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 yes indeed, yes sir, huddle up. We got Ravens huddle episode eighteen. Um, after what should have been a blowout against um the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, aka the Dirty Dance, because they like playing dirty football, <laughs> dirt bags. Yeah. Um, and you got your boy Mike Mana. Yes, indeed, and you got your boy Rich. You got Zay in the back, man. And uh, matter of fact, since you did you since you briefly touched on last week's game and how it should have been a blowout, actually, I'm gonna I'm I'm skip to something else to start this off. Um, we appreciate y'all huddling up with us. Continue to like, rate, and subscribe. Yes, indeed. And please, tell a friend and tell a friend. Share this everywhere. Yeah, as of right now, like, like, like. Everything else is great. Like it. And we want you to do all of that, but liking helps us out if you want to see more content. It's free to do, man. It yes, helps sir. spread the word. Peace. Ed Reed, did y'all see his comments? Mm-hmm. He basically said, uh, matter of fact, let me see if I can get a, a, the quote real fast. Um... This was after the get like that. Yeah, we gotta after. hear the quote, what the goat got to say. He about said that. he's when he was on the uh, the Manning's cat uh, joint. Okay, uh, with, uh, you know on, for the Monday Night Football phenomenal show, whatever. whatever. Yeah, yeah, it really is really phenomenal. Good. I ain't gonna lie, because you got two greats, and then they be they having Bill, brothers. They have Bill, Bill Belichick on it now, and just good guys. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. He said because uh, they was talking about how you know when, I think it was the the the, the last touchdown throw. When he was wide. The, it was wide open. The running back, what was it? The running back it was somebody who was wide open and to the left side. He literally just walked in the end zone. Yeah, um, he was like, they was like, man, well, how is that happening or whatever? And he was basically like, uh, they don't understand the other side of finishing and being a championship team right now, mm. Mm. which is a fact. So Kyle Van Noy responded because he was asked on uh, one of the podcasts, and he straight up was like, yo, he said he's right. He said yeah. if we if we're trying to be um, win a championship, we got to cut. That out in the of the game, they want this weird, but uh, we are better than that, and we'll figure it out. He kept saying we'll figure it out, but he was like one hundred percent. Yeah, we definitely got to figure it out. Bro. Was right because <laughs> like, we we was not woke. Like again, thirty four ten to forty one uh, thirty one in the fourth quarter is crazy, bro. Like that's literally when Lamar should just be sitting on the bench chilling, and we should just be like. Having a serviceable game, whereas though the defense just plays, yeah, nobody gets hurt. They had a lot you of know. things go their way, of course, but you can't have that. You yeah. can't have that. We were lucky we were up so much, honestly. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Thankfully, because of the greatest quarterback that's playing football. <laughs> it's a fact right now. Good but gracious, that boy sideball saved us. on that that Ed Reed combo. They were saying they might get my man out of there because he don't like them guardian caps. He they said that he was roasting them guardian oh. caps. Ed is not feeling them guardian <laughs> caps. That's hilarious, bro. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> he old school football, old son. School football. You, he played until his spine almost snapped off. Yeah, bro. yeah. I was like <laughs> disgusted watching him retire. Joe, like stop playing Please. football, bro. You I wanted him to retire to so bad when he yeah, came back here. Prove, and bro. played against us on the Texans. I was like, please, bro. Yeah. He was on the please, Jets, bro. too. I, I didn't even, I forgot. Was, about, he, on was he on the Jets? I, think, I thought I he was on the Jets. So. I don't remember that. I remember the Texans. Maybe I'm, hold on, let me, let me make <clears> sure. I think it was just the Texans. Yeah, but no, he was, he's still a legend, man. And and The greatest. In his own right. Yes, the last team he was on was the Jets. That's crazy. Bro. I didn't even know him. <laughs> man, I had no idea. Yo, so, t- st- hey, Kenny, tell me if you remember any stats, bro. He probably was hype when they got him. Yeah. You know how he hype played he seven games. Yeah, he likes getting players past their prime. <laughs> that's a Jets thing. <laughs> What's crazy is he had three INTs his last year. <laughs> oh, snap. He was still getting uh, the ball. He was still ball the hawk, ball. yo. Ball hawk Reed, He still bro. had more picks than Marcus that's Williams. That's why, yo, has. we got to get him as a consultant <laughs> or something, yo, for the squadron. Yo, yeah. get him Marcus Williams' ear, bro. Please, Ed. Save us, yo. Yeah. Yeah, we need him. <laughs> yeah, we hey, need give him, him some, give him some show. game, bro. Talking markets, bro. Yeah, because you're right. You can't give, give him up some stuff game. Like that. And your free safety is so important, bro. It's like, bro, it's you paramount. Can't yeah. be barbecue it's the last shaking. line of especially, defense, especially in this league with way more passing. Way more you know, passing. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta overall, understand what's happening, my brother. But you gotta understand overall, the defense has been subpar as the Ravens' defense, but the secondary has had glimpses of, oh, this dude could be nice. This dude looks really nice, like, against certain receivers. We've dropped a lot of interceptions. We've dropped. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. People in, in yeah. great positions. Yeah. I haven't seen Marcus Williams even in position to drop an interception yet. <laughs> it's, it's so I'm serious, yo. It's crazy. Like, yo, you can't be out of position every play, he yo. Never be in the position He's nowhere near the ball, To yo. make a play. I've never, I've never seen And the safety it. is watching everything as it transpires. Like, you the last line of defense. He's always out of play, zone. yo. 
What's super, wow. what's super crazy about this uh, era, you know, Ed Reed be like, gosh, man. Because they, pa- they passed like way more. Yeah. Yeah. They passed way more. He's like, yo, I would have been. So he was already study, pick city. You would have been wild yeah, pick city Yeah, he's the average pick that. a game. That's why it's a, it's a mental, it's a conversation. I don't know what it is, But man. Kyle was like, we, we'll figure it out. And it's like, Doug. Van Noy, right? Van Noy, yeah. Okay. And it's like, Doug, this, this, this truth to that because like you did against the Bills. When they was giving up all of them and coming back, the mm-hmm. Bills, they didn't allow that. Now, the Bills, you know, receivers were a little wonky, but I don't want to hear that. Josh Allen's a, supposed, supposed to be a be good a, enough quarterback. One of them MVP top three quarterback. And people act like their receivers were absolute trash. They're not They're not the worst. They got another receiver. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But, yeah, they have the ability. So you just got to communication and figure it out. So We will. I believe in us. I believe oh, yeah. in us. They will. They will. <clears throat> and I feel like Lamar, you can see it in his eyes. Like, he telling them, like, yo, y'all need to step it up. Even the... Um, I hate to jump into something, but it still pertains to last week. Even the camaraderie against the team, like when Zay Flowers called out uh, Cousin Kyle, he like, all you want to do is crash out, bro. You don't want to <laughs> make no interceptions. You just want to crash out. And I like to crash out. But you can catch picks too, bro, because we're going to need you, yo, because if the secondary that crazy, like everybody know. is going to have to get I, service. I, I like he, it. I think he, I like it. I do like that's why I said I, I do like the crashing out. I, I think like he might it. be like, yo, listen, team's thinking is sweet, yo, right now. My job is to instill hits. Yeah. Because him and Roquan was just yeah, he going cold, after bro. hits. Like Kyle hits. makes those physical hits early in the game. All bro. you want to do is crash out, bro. Backfield crash out hit. So, like, and what was that? The, I think that might have been the Bills and the Cowboys game where he made two crazy hits yeah. on the running backs in yeah. the backfield. Yeah. Tackle for losses, y'all. He, yeah. he, he's like a man Oh, child. we need him keep man doing that. Yeah, keep doing that. I'm tripping. Keep but you could, you, that, could, you could catch a pick or two Please get a pick, though. If you he's, like, he's like a boxer. Uh, that has power, and they be like, man, let them, you know, feel your power early so they can kind of just, you know, be leery the whole time. That's yeah. kind of what type he, the type of time he be on. Yeah. That's what it feel like, yo. And let that's him, against so they know it's not sweet, on the yo, offense. Like, yeah, like, he'll, he, he'll come up and wrap up a, a running back. He like, studied that, he studied that, uh, the rule book, man, because he know <laughs> when to make them yeah, hits, yeah. bro. Perfect, perfect, perfect time you know, joints. So. You know it's perfect <laughs> smack. When they don't throw, when they even if they throw it, they take it back. They, they will. The they throw a back. They pull the flag on anybody, even if the hit is clean. Yeah. They be like, his smack is so perfect. Yeah, crispy football, bro. Like we ha- we can't call Form it. Tackles yo. only, yo. <laughs> we can't call it. Yeah. Form Cause, tackles only, bro. Cuz Kyle, bro. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. I, we appreciate you, bro. You're great, dog. Yeah, absolutely. Well, since we talking about the secondary man, Rich man, you want? Oh speak man. About? He's coming back, bro. The man himself, number 10, bro. Arthur Millette. Arthur Millette. Activated. Let's get it, shorty. Let's get it, Yo, Millette. We need you shaking and baking out there, shorty. You know how hype I am for that? Yeah. Because you know? now we got we got somebody that can play that nickel position yes. in case Marlowe is out. Mm-hmm. And this is a team that you can put him out there on. You know what I mean? They got Jameis in there. I, I feel comfortable and confident with Arthur Millette. Not starting, maybe, but at least coming in there in some packages. Cutting yeah. some of them slant rounds. I agree. Though. That. Get that out of there. Especially you're going to need all that He's going to get hit or he this. might make a play on it. I, I haven't seen where he made a lot of plays last year. He was mainly just a hitter more than anything. I don't remember him making a lot of interceptions or anything like that, but that's my guy, man. I like that guy a lot. I was yeah. so happy we got him. I must say, I felt like he made. Shout out Millet. And I think we got him from the Steelers, if I'm not mistaken. He's super duper I think nice. he was from the Steelers, probably, <laughs> too. Which just, makes it even more. Beautiful. He might be the double agent for us, bro. Give him drop some dimes, bro. It's okay. Just stay to healthy, do that. my boy. You know what I mean. We need you out there because clearly that middle of the field is is butt naked. Man. Yeah, yeah, boy, yo, it's it's pretty nasty out there. Marlon's yo. made it a little bit tough on folks, though. Yeah, um, I said like I said last week, yeah. Marlo was the only one that Marlo was woke. Uh, cousin Kyle was woke on the crashing out. And Wiggins had some glimpses of uh, woke being a lot being a woke. Week one and two, I was saying, man, we I don't know if I like Marlo on his team. I was saying that we all were. Well, it was because he was talking a lot. Weird. and wasn't playing well. It's still, he still has. He's still the him. We just winning right now. He could be weird when he it's play just, that well. You doesn't be, look as bad when you win. Nah, he going definitely. He got a. He's having a Pro Bowl. Level season right Absolutely. now, so it's like yeah, you yeah. can listen. He's good. You can be Dennis Rodman if you help. Him yeah, if, you, if you're like, shaking up, you can kind of do what you want. Don't do that when we lose him. Yeah, bro. you could kind of do. Yeah, definitely don't That's play it, around man. when we. Uh, but yeah. nah, he's but, been balling. But he was looking a little shaky last year, and then he came into this year looking a little. So it was we listen. We didn't hang, bang the gab on dudes. We just you know the trial was starting. That's all. And I feel like y'all listening because the adjustments up. are being made, and we appreciate y'all uh, listening to our advice. 
Man, we don't know if they... I, listen, all I know is whatever they doing, uh, that's increasing the turnovers and keep increasing it. Um, and that's a good transition because uh, um, Zach Orr, he uh, was speaking this week because, you know, the defense... Just ha- so what was it? What was it's he weird because the defense has good moments and then really bad ones. Really bad. Ones. Like it's just it's very weird. So he was talking about how um, a few running backs at times, especially last week, it was sometimes that they was getting ran on. Yeah, them, just which running is a little, You know, yeah. not not normal for them. And it happened a couple games, but they never really really got all the way off in the other games. But you know, just worrying about that because they you know listen, if you could run on the Ravens and throw it on them, yeah, I mean, oh, it's nothing gosh. you can do. But he yeah, was um, just going to score a hundred a week. But he was talking about um, how basically um, he was like. He made it. He was like, man, some miscommunications, man. You know, in the schemes and stuff like. I that. mean, that's how we got to clean. Yeah, we got to clean that up. He said yeah. teams are also because they know that they're good against the run. Um, are trying to do quick schemes, uh, switch the stuff real quick, and try to catch them off guard from doing their. Uh, yeah. They see the I mean, inside of that uh, field in the flats is butt naked every time, bro. So yeah, so you're like they trying to catch them off guard on runs. They 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 you know that's what we talking about with scheme. Like teams look, and that's why the Roquan joint on coverage. They look and they scheming for that. So each week you got to make adjustments as a, as a team. But he noticed. He said he admit the, the, the miscommunications uh, like everybody. But mainly people talking about the, the secondary. But like yeah, that's that's the thing that they got to clean up. Listen, the season is still it's approaching the halfway mark. So they still you got to keep growing. Yeah, you got to keep figuring it out. The offense. It's clearly is far, far, way far ahead. They locked in. Um, you know, Peyton Manning had a team. I think the year they won the year the year they won the Super Bowl with the Colts. If I'm not mistaken, the defense was like eh, the whole year, and then towards the end, they they all got locked in. I think Bob Sanders, all them dudes on that team, whatever, and it's like they played be- well, and that's how they yeah, you just got gotta to win, actually win the Super yeah, Bowl, get two to three yeah. games, yeah. man, and get to that Super Bowl. So yeah. we don't need you to play dynamic all every game, but we got to get it together. Yeah. And yeah. it's early enough for I, yeah. I feel like for them to get it together. Yeah. That's why I'm confident. Yeah. Yeah. I'm confident. He, he and, and from this point on, if we up like we was. I don't want more than two touchdowns in a quarter, and that's if the backup guys are in, bro. Like happen, three touchdowns too. in a quarter is crazy. Two shouldn't bro. happen, yo. Yeah, he he mentioned other thing. Uh, Zach Orr mentioned was um, he was like the best way the defense can play is takeaways. Now, part of me like, ooh, because you don't want people try to do two, because you know sometimes people going for them takeaways and allow big plays. Yeah, be but a play. but he's not he's not wrong when you when you take that ball away like Hump, Marlon Humphreys did that changed the whole game. You know, and we would keep Red saying it. Some of these, ga- some of them early games, we kept saying it. it was like, "Yo, somebody needs to make a play." Yeah, we like just the first two games, some, play just make a play because we weren't getting blown out. You know what I mean? We we almost the Chiefs didn't beat us that by that much, and the Raiders that was just I don't know what that was, man. That was that disgusting, was the main bro. game. Was like because I think there was bro. interception tightly in both of those games, right? But sometimes you need somebody else to make another play, and it's not too much to ask for when you're talented. Yeah, yeah. Um, because, like you said, it's you know not a I mean? personnel problem. Like, yeah, he's yeah. got a lot of good dudes. Got to make plays, no, my, There may only be one personnel problem on that team. Oh, we, I, I, <laughs> I keep Hartman on, you know, you know, I keep on That's him, but. about it, though. But you should be able to, you know, play well enough in you. But but I, I like that he acknowledges stuff and publicly. But, like, they just got to keep working on it. Because it's one thing they acknowledge and keep working on it. But, like I said, it's coming up in the week eight. You know, there's 17 uh, games now. So, it's like they, you know, they got enough time Midway. to make sure. Midway. 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 Yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, um, one of the things I want to talk about that's slightly, it involves the Ravens potentially down the line because other teams are watching each other. How do y'all feel about uh, Hopkins going to the Chiefs and uh, Amari Cooper going to the Bills? Because clearly those teams are doing that to try to... Yeah, they got to bolster for the Ravens. Yeah, to try to prepare for it for anybody, but definitely like... They got to bolster their teams. Yeah. They need the Bills needed a, a primary receiver, I think more. Uh, I'm not like Amari out there again because he was he was wasn't in that where he was originally. No, he was the Cowboys. Uh, yeah, he was Cowboys. He was a Cowboy yeah, originally. He definitely was a yeah. Cowboy. Oh snap! I did all wrong because I think he was on there with Michael Crabtree in him, yo. Michael Crabtree was on. No, nah, I know I'm tripping. That was that. That was when he was, was on the Raiders. Uh, Raiders. I'm tripping. Michael Crabtree. I know. I'm wild. Yeah, nah. But, um, but all right, yeah, nah. So if I got he was a, the Raiders. I was about to say he got traded the to the to the Cowboys at some point. I knew he wasn't okay. originally there. Okay, but I was like, it wasn't the Bills. It was the it was the. Uh, I just so I like him. I do like. I think I like the Amari. I don't know, man. Nah, Kansas City getting a threat. I think is I like problem, the yo. Amari a little bit better though. I don't know why. Kansas like City getting a threat I feel like is going like to be a problem, yo. Because their offense has not that been playing that well, and they still undefeated. 
Like, yo, they get a receiver in there that can shake and bake, yo. They, it's going to be over, bro. It depends mm. how his attitude is when he comes there. That's what I'm saying. I'm not like, saying he's going to have a bad attitude, but you just never I, know. I'm, I don't think anybody has an attitude when they have a chance to get in the ring, yo. Well, some guys. What has... Again, I don't know what he... D-Hop is a legend. A legend. So I'm not going to disrespect him like this, but I am a little bit. What has D-Hop done in the past? Like, again, it's, it ha- he hasn't had a Mahomes. Yeah, he hasn't, I'm had, like, he he hasn't, hasn't had, had a Mahomes. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what he does with a Mahomes. But also, Amari is a monster. So, I mean, he's not like he's a Nah, star. he's still a beast. He's yeah. been a little injured. Uh, Hopkins, um, on and off. He hasn't... He, he, I like the, I like the Bills. He had a I'm more scared season. of the Bills a, when I think more than the Chiefs uh, acquisition of, of Hopkins. I don't know. I think he had like, a very solid season last extra. year. So it's you know sometimes a person get rejuvenated, yeah. especially when you That's go to a team that is yeah. They what they undefeated mm-hmm. right now. Yeah, yeah. He messed around and, and do like that'll when, change when, everything. When You'll be Moss jubilant hit, uh, and, and uh, ready to go every Patriots every day. Start so. shaking off, bro. Hey, we are gonna have to see one of them, maybe both. Maybe both. It might um. it might have to be like that. But <laughs> so they gonna have to get ready. I know. The the the. The thing is that they got, teams are like, we can't throw on them. But the thing is, they played so many excellent wide receivers so early in the year. Yeah. That that helped. Maybe it sharpens the you know iron sharper iron early in the season. Yeah, the, especially when you get to that playoff time Absolutely. frame. Because that's the only time we're going to see them again is in that time yep. frame. So we'll have had guys that have had a full season under their belt now. Hopefully pretty injury. Uh, you know, everybody's banged up. For football, it's just football. Yeah, but yeah. hopefully we we good going into the playoffs because right now again I don't want to say it anymore. Let's let's never say it because we've been pretty, pretty yeah, yeah, good yeah, on that front, yeah, yeah. bro. And, and oh, well, let's transition. We got mad piece. We got a, well, we got my boy the running back coming back too. Uh, there you Jeez, go, Mitchell. Mitchell back we in the practice. pistol back in the backfield. He's at so least back in practice, right? He's not practice. activated. I think I think on they, the they squad right. He's got like a practice thing. He yeah, I think they said first. about three weeks. Okay, about gotcha. three weeks. So gotcha. Um. That's good, man. Yeah, we're going to have a stock. It's good to see him in pads, quickly. man, on yeah. the Instagram yeah. page. Look at, salute to the Ravens Instagram page. They be killing yeah, it they, the photos. Yeah, they the, 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 the photos and page. the videos, man. Yeah, yeah the good videos social are, page. Yeah, Because the this is going to be a sidebar, but I got to get this in here right now. The Bateman catch. Oh, yeah. That video that they caught yeah, it, the yeah, Bateman yeah, yeah, catch yeah, yeah, that yeah. they superimposed yeah. with what they talked about in yeah, the Yeah, that was fire with Lamar. Oh, my God. And he knew he knew it was coming. And then they showed the end the meeting. The in, in inside in the meeting, bro. Go, the the week, practice, like the practice two days, two days before. before. Yeah, that's it's like, like you gonna bait, get it, hit, hit. Go ahead, just hit a little hick route and then keep going. You are gonna be open. It was like <laughs> God damn. What was, Lamar is like that, bro. The wide receiver coach looking like a yeah. guru out there, yo. Like, I know that was good for him. What was so hard was Lamar was like, oh, we got. He basically knew it was touchdown pre snap bait. He was like, oh bait, oh bait, we got one. He said we got bait, we got one. <laughs> so he was supposed to. He was like, uh, normally they would expect him to keep going out, but he hit the little quick he he, and then then ran back, back out on him, caught number twenty seven, yo, with the yeah, uh, caught him looking in the backfield, yeah, yeah, had him in the slippery arrows, bro, his body, yeah. yeah, couldn't keep his foot. Lamar threw a perfect yeah. ball, but no, but bro, Ke- keep going, keep yeah, going. but Keaton, Keaton Mitchell, man, um, very very I'm encouraging about that. We were talking about very encouraging, of course, Lamar and 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 and. And Henry, uh, fire, uh, fire, and ice, thunder, and lightning, Justice right? Too. Justice but, too. But we were talking more so about uh, Keaton Mitchell yeah, and Henry bro, since, he was shaking since off. early in the year being uh, thunder bro, and lightning. And that Mitchell, was our original thunder and lightning. Keaton Mitchell yo. was breaking out the backfield so fast. As soon as they got there for Henry, like, that's what like we was 20 talking to about. 30 yards per carry yeah. type stuff. Like he, I'm just hoping for a good rehab. Hopefully, these yes. practices, they like what they see so that he can get back out there, man. And we, we got that same, or if not better, Keaton, man. I would like yeah. to see it. You know what? It, you know what? It could help out with too. Like you know how they don't want to give the ball to Henry every five seconds, right? Like, the, especially because he's you know um, he's still gonna he's still not gonna be playing for a few weeks, and uh, Henry is just in a row. But towards the end of that season, they might you know let Henry get some of that rest to get up for the playoffs, and let him get a few be more tough. of those carries. Um, of course, clearly because they're going to play him. But you know what I mean? Like, no, I get it. They really like, like, kind of like, I'm kinda... Madison, if if he's nice and healthy. Yeah. One of the things I real quick, I like mm-hmm. about Keaton Mitchell, which is really fantastic. That's how you can tell Lamar has been fantastic as a leader, and, and just getting everybody to feel good and, and play hard and, and um, just be in the right mindset. Uh, well, if you see somebody listen. play that well, it's damn near impossible not to get motivated yeah. by that. So Keaton, like, anytime I've seen videos from him recently on the sideline. Upbeat, 
happy, joking, talking smack, looking like he's ready, looking like he's in a good mood. Because, you know, some people coming back from that rehab from um, injuries like that, they don't. We we we'll see once he get out there and if you got if you're gonna trust his knee and all of that. But like, yeah, that's good because some people you know he just is eager to get back, but you know you just don't know. But it's he he looked like he ready to get on the field. From right, everything man. I've seen over the last several weeks, he looks like he's ready to get back on the field. After seeing Nick Chubb come back from his, I'm Playing very well. refreshed Playing to very see. Well uh, I, I would like to see what Keaton gonna look like. So this is this, and he's a young young kid. This is what his third year, second or third year. He's not that long. No, this is the second year. Second year. Was, second year. was he a rookie yeah, last year? Rookie, yeah. yeah so this is second year. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, you know he didn't really have too many injuries like that in his past because you know you you can have things that that happen in your sports when your youth as well. But happy for him, man. I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm to excited see. to see him. I back, think man. what I've been guy. noticing too, because um, I know we were getting mad at the last game because we didn't see Henry running a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm starting to think that's their whole like load management kind of yeah. style of playing with Henry, and I don't Makes know sense. if I always like it because there's certain scenarios where I just feel yeah, like we, we should need be it's seventeen games yeah. that extra. They really they really, I, and I agree to an extent. Like oh, to the breaking the record, breaking the record is cool, but right now you want Derrick Henry going into that final. You know, everybody's going to start to, you know, the, the, the health meter is going to start dropping yeah, a little bit. Football. You want him going in at around 90%. You know? Yeah. I like, still feel like... They don't want him like, going in at 70, 65, yeah. and just rely on only power. They want his speed to still be there. They want his uh, his mind to be sharp. They want him... They want him... They want... You know how he was so, looking eager in the last game? They want him I looking eager in the be, I think they're going to be playing around with... Like, I, we should pay attention more now and see if, like... Maybe this game they start them out maybe a little more hot and then they taper them off towards the end because they might just be flipping it, they might just be or they might be changing it where it's a little bit more heavy in the first quarter, way less in the second, third, and then the fourth we load them up if we need to because I I really do think they're trying to conserve that man for mm-hmm. specifically our playoff run because yeah. if we can run that ball in the playoffs last year, it's impossible. No yeah, one it's beats impossible us. Impossible to beat us. Yeah. No one be well, with that well, defense. Technically, we could run it. We just with that defense that we had. The, 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 yeah, the defense. That dog. Oh, that defense. God, yo, so that deep. Yeah. If they would have made the trade for Henry last year, yeah. Oh my God, it, it was over. As long as Monkin don't. Get, yeah, just, just run the, don't he shot himself in the foot the last year. But, but you, it was first. You gotta learn sometimes. Yeah, man. You, you can't get freaky in the playoffs, bro. Yeah, I mean, just stick to the game, bro. We was winning with it. But um, what I don't like. That I've seen a little bit. I know people gotta, you know, ask the question and, and do this stuff on TV for about who's the MVP. I have no issues with that, but I don't like some of it. Seem like they're trying to divide. You know, some of these haters of Lamar or just the Ravens in general over the time. They could call them names, but I'm just seeing people trying to divide him and Derrick Henry. Seem like which is not going to work. You can see anything; it's not going to work. But they always like, no, nah, what's the name is definitely the Derrick Henry's the you know, like, dog. They helping each other, yo. I feel like Logan, it's a lot of little. Weird. I just didn't see a lot of weird. They, they don't. Too, long as we went a range. Maybe man. if they was younger, yeah. I don't. I think that's out the window, dog. Like, yeah. I think yeah. Lamar Nobody cares, bro. I really what do you call that. That's that crappy the fodder. Body that crappy fodder that you need to have on those big network shows. Because I've seen a lot of nonsense. I'm going to call this one out. Yo, Dad called me on this one. Yo, Keyshawn Johnson was wild. I didn't even see anything. Keyshawn Johnson. What did he say specifically? It, it was something along the lines of with Lamar Jackson that was just utterly ridiculous. <laughs> and I, I couldn't believe he was saying that. It just didn't make they paid him sense to do that, though. Like, that's why I'm create this. And that's, that's the, the point There's I was no getting. There's no way that you yeah, like football. That's what I think yeah, even that discourse is. is. They don't, there ain't no way you believe it's any dissension in our locker room with them, too. The, the one I can't thing, believe that. The one thing I will say, just on his behalf, I didn't see that. He could be, he could be you know, because they got to tell you, hey, man, you can't be, you got to kind of mix it up. But he was giving the Ravens a lot of love when other people was like, they're not that, they haven't proved anything. Each week he was like, dog, they're the best team. Yeah, like, yeah. Ever since they started getting like, the, once they got like three in a row or something like that, he'd be like, dog, they the truth. Yo. I you think after they blew the Bills, anything. he was like, they the best team. Yo. Yeah. You can't do so, anything to beat that. You know what I mean? Our off on the offensive side, not the way Lamar's throwing. Yeah, no. it's no way to beat that. And it's yo. just like it's simple, and I understand. And he gotta, still got wheels, bro. You got to create some some discourse and all of this. I I understand the TV game, but it's like, bro, they're clearly helping each other out. Like now, I'm not like I said. You can say one guy's the MVP, one isn't, but it's still some of the way it's being said, and yeah. like, basically, he wouldn't be this if he wasn't here. Type, it's, it's like dog. 
Stop, yo. Yeah, both they helping each other. Yeah, both of them. A co MVP would be hard, each other, bro. I'm not mad. That would be hard, yo. Depending on yo. what we see throughout the season. To me, right now, I lean more towards Lamar, but that's just I, probably yeah. a personal. I, you thing. gotta lean towards Lamar because yeah. it's just like, but what you he know, I I just... respect people that say say uh, Henry as well because Henry is monstrous, right? And now. that's what I was going. Oh. Best offensive player, maybe I, I would get at the uh, for sure. To uh, he running all the he time. He definitely got to be Henry. Yeah, yeah you got to You got to split. You're gonna have to split it up at the very least to be fair. What I will say is just on the you know. I feel like Lamar, you know the type of person, just from what we've seen, he probably is. I guarantee if Derrick Henry, he'd be that wins, he'd be the happiest Yeah, he's going to be OD Henry. hype. Yeah, of yeah. course, he'd accept a third, but you know he went the ring more than anything. I think if he wins the Super Bowl and Derrick Henry get it, I believe Lamar would be like, yo, this is my, my, my favorite year. Clearly, clearly, of course, won the Super Bowl of all time, though. I think he would really be happy yeah. if it really went down like that. Absolutely. Like, and, and the way I, I feel or like... Super yo, Bowl, or if he wins Super Bowl, or, or if Derrick Henry gets Super Bowl MVP. Yeah. I, I think he want to spread the love, man. Like, and I think He, he just want to win. Yeah, yeah he, he just, just wants win. to win, yo. Yeah. That's yeah. it. You can see it. And I feel like, yo, if Lamar gets has four more seasons at somewhat of this level, he's going to win an MVP again, bro. He's gonna, he's gonna have to be in the conversation. It's an argument now. It is. is. He is There's the no front way. runner for the MVP. Yeah. But There's I'm no just saying, you, like, you can't say he's gonna right get now. another MVP. Especially he's way too good at football. With the bro. start of our season to where we are now, looking like one of the perennial teams in the AFC, when they 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 was really counting us out. Yeah, they was really saying we was washed. There was a lot of people saying that, getting, man. It was getting crazy. That happened. Well, you know, we are also the redhead stepchild of the NFL. I like, wasn't happy either, the but Ravens, bro. you know, Ali, I the refs just... only treat us like that, bro. Lamar, trash. Like, wow, they were calling him trash though. It was just a lot of weird. calling him trash, and your quarterback is not Pat Mahomes. Is egregious. Anybody? <laughs> so I'm just saying, I'm looking you in your eyes now and just telling you, like. If your quarterback is not Pat Mahomes, you can't even talk, bro. Listen, man, this is a rough game. Man. Look at Jaden Daniels. It's tough out there. It's tough, man. man. You can really that, all you can go say, down at Everybody any was points. doing. I was like, yo, just slow down. He got to stay healthy. He got to stay. He got to play half a season when he get more fit. We always. It's people's got Max. Who's like, yo, y'all season, giving him too much. Bro. Way yes. too much. We crazy. think he's gonna be fired. Nice. It's a lot, yo. The kid is good. Think about Calm it. Calm down. Think about how crazy this is. Because people try to sweep under the rug now. We ain't talking about none of his personal stuff. Just as a player, Deshaun Watson was OD. Yeah, he was ridiculous on the Texans. Now he like he, bro, he looked terrible. Shadow yeah. of himself, not yes. even the same. He don't even look like the same. And a lot of that was injuries. A lot of that probably was the personal stuff going on behind. But remember, he sat out for and a because the, they didn't want to. Like it was a lot going. Yeah. Anything can happen. Too, That's a quarterback graveyard. Yeah, yeah it's I over for you, buddy. I feel like because <laughs> I met a Cleveland fan outside one day yeah. this week. I was like. They just sorry. like pain. Sorry that's like that. that's like me uh, being a Bulls fan. But at least we got. I got when people talk about when we won chips back in the nineties, like because I, I vaguely remember. But like, I couldn't imagine being a fan of a team that bad. They got it's a Jets. Team. It's basically a Jets fan, bro. God rest his soul. They still got to talk, uh, <laughs> talk about Jim Brown. The Browns and the Jets about the same, bro. Because at least the Browns Not had that year the when they had Peyton field. Hillis. <laughs> at least the Browns have made the playoffs. Touché. Yeah, within the last decade, yo. The Jets, the Sanchez. No, they are terrible. Sanchez. Over a decade, over dog. A decade? It's a long time. I think it was like so 13 bad. years. Yeah, it was like 2008. Bro, I was like, like a sophomore. <laughs> that was it was 2008, dude. So I think they made it after that too. You know when it was like one of the tens. Either way, it's over a decade. Long time. Y'all still with decade. you when they announced the other team and you just yell "sucks" real bad, yo? Yeah. When them echoes. That was the greatest. That's time. that's how what you got. That was the Every best time, time to be the down there at the sucks, stadium. One day we're gonna talk sucks. about the old stadium days. That was a great time, man. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Keep what we gotta say. Um. Oh, I just saw some funny stuff since we was talking about Henry. Uh, did y'all see uh, Anthony Edwards talking about? <laughs> Talking about how, uh, yeah, man, if I, uh, I can, I'm a hit, like, I hit Derrick Henry, basically, I get tackled, him, and he Stop like, it, trust me, I might not smack him, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hit him. I'm like, all right, Joe, but he, he was like, cause you know, I think he has, he has his background, he, he has a football background. He was yeah, like, he he's like, okay. I'm a, he's yeah, like really, know. I'm a fat guy, like, I don't lift no more weights anymore. He said, yeah. I worked hard for this body, and he, remember when he came, he, he. Even in college, he was more stocky. He looks in like a football. He guy, looks like to be a football player. You. Yeah, he did. Like, he just plays basketball. But right now, really buddy, well. <laughs> no, sir. I don't care if you get in the way. And <laughs> you know, that's that's a little bit of like everybody can hit. You know, Henry. You can anybody can hit him. 
do you take him down when you hit him? Is like, I mean, like, and you can tackle, make contact with him, but the, do you go through and, and finish the hit? I ain't gonna lie, and he running you over. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm high. saying. That's what look like when man. they first put the truck stick on man. <laughs> right, to be especially egregious. The when they first you put the truck stick on did? man. Yeah. And, uh, 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 shoot, 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 um, Ricky Williams. Yeah, he was in power. The dog was in power. Just straight. That was my favorite player in that bad era. Holmes was still nice too, yo. Yeah. You get lifted. <laughs> no, you, you get Ricky lifted. Williams, Ricky Williams had that year. <laughs> he was different. You it catch was a, that stiff arm jab, yo. One of them strong stiff arm jabs to the face. It's over, bro. He stiff armed a linebacker on the on the line on the uh, Cowboys. Yeah, that's crazy. To the like to the dirt. Yeah, you're not tackling. <laughs> you're that, not tackling you're that. You nice man, though at yo. basketball. I respect bro. you. You want me to go in basketball at one day, but like he said, if he put on weight though, he said if he put on what do you said he need to put on like. Uh, 20, Whatever 30 was. pounds or something like that. I think he said he, he said, he, he, said he said if uh, he told he was because listening to him in uh, the Justin Jefferson uh, not the recreation drink that was which hard, is super which is cool. Hard. And they seem the, mad cool together. Salute to Minnesota man. They got a little squadron out. They there. mad funny together. You seen you seen some of the clips with him and Jeff. They I mad like funny Jefferson. together. I like they Jefferson. can do a pop if they want to. I'm not saying everybody should. Oh, do that one, would but be hard. It, it, the, the chemistry was pretty dope. But um, he was like after if he said if I win a chip within the next five years. I'm going to play football. They're like, nah, stop it. He like, he go play football. I'm like, yo, dog. Yo, what if you really get, get out there and try I to admire my boy's his confidence, and ruin his, yo. I boy. admire his confidence a lot. Because even him in the Olympics. Well, let's, we on the Ravens, John. We, we no, 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 but no, no, it's a side. But yeah. Yeah. My bad, side, but on him in the Olympics, yo. He was a young kid in the yeah. Olympics, yeah. yo. He was out there really balling with the yeah. great of the greats, yo. Yeah. Uh, for the world. He was. Yo, he yeah. has an exceptional confidence, yo. Like, I respect that kid a lot. So, but real briefly on on it, I'm like, dog. In, in a couple of years, NBA players gonna be making hundred million dollars. Yeah, you stop. ain't going to that. Absolutely, no. <laughs> You're not doing yeah. it. Especially you a superstar yeah, getting supermax. One fourth of your salary. Yes, yeah. he gonna be getting. Nah, he ain't <laughs> he gonna be making stop. a five hundred million super by the time. Max, yeah, it's gonna be five hundred million by the time. At this point, sir. But Derrick Henry was like, um, they uh, one of the media, uh, the, the Ravens social media people asked him. He was like, "How do you?" Uh, he was like, "He showed him. I think he, I think he showed him what he said or whatever, or just asked him. He was like, would he be able to tackle you?'" And I think they did show him the clip. He was like, "Heck no!" Nah, and walked up like to stop me, yo. Yeah, yo cut you cut it out. That, <laughs> cut yeah, it right. out. He know? picked he picked the front runner <laughs> running back in the NFL. That's Not been only literally that. demolishing everybody. Literally one of the biggest huge. running backs. Yeah. In the NFL. <laughs> Come on, bro. And it's huge. He's <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we get into the. The portion of predictions, man. Oh yeah, you sparked it off this week because I think I did it last. Well, what week. I will say is just to just to pop it off. I think Mike got us last week, right? He was closest. Was Mike close? Who was closest last week? I don't know. I I was going to be close until some super stuff. No, no, no. I had I had us thirty five ten. I was hyped when we was at the thirty four yeah, ten because I thought it was going to be perfect. And then we I'm gonna check back that. on the joints again and, and, and then post up. Who was I think it was you because yours was a high scoring, but no, both of y'all was high scoring. But was, y'all had them with a little bit more points. Five or twenty four or something like that. I think thirty five twenty. I can't remember. Like yeah, no. Let let's see. So who we got? We got the Browns this week. Yeah. Banged up. In Cleveland, mm. what's that weather looking like? I always like to try to get a little peek at the weather to try to figure out, are right, we going to be able to run the ball, pass the ball like that? I don't think it really matters. Doesn't matter. But Not I right think, now, yeah. It's, it's like <laughs> On this instance, Jameis Winston, he letting that ball fly, <sighs> baby. And we're going to be catching Three it this week. Three interceptions. Minimum. Minimum. Yeah. Yo. Minimum. It's unacceptable. <laughs> Minimum, yo. bro. Minimum. Yo, Marcus <laughs> Williams, if you let... This will be his week, Jameis yo. Winston. This is week. his week, Have you bro. look crazy, bro? I it's need Marcus to go. <laughs> please, yo. Marcus Williams, please, yo. Don't let Jameis Winston shake off, yo. Yeah, we get at least, like he said, three turnovers, hopefully three picks. Um, and I think we do handle this. But you, know, you remember, yo, quite as kept. Jameis Winston had a couple of them games where he started slinging it. He might throw a couple of <laughs> picks. Because he's got the talent. He's going to score. Yeah. It's just, That's you not, don't know where his not. head is in the game. But the problem is they, ain't got, they don't have no receivers or nothing right now. Yeah. They got rid of Amari. They don't have anybody else down there. They got they do got Chubb, but I don't know how the run game gonna work against us. Uh, they look pretty good with the Buccaneers, but I'm gonna say um, it's divisional, so it can get funky. I'm not gonna blow them out, but I do put us around 27 mm. to like 13, probably something around that range. I think they do score on us. Probably get a couple field goals. Okay. Yeah, it's divisional. It gets weird, man. It gets funky. It's loopy. It's yeah, weird, it does. Man. It's really it does. their defense is something not to, you know it's not something to slouch on I don't think you know what I mean so 
I'm going. I'm going Mike this week, man. Blowout season. Forty-five. Mm. Nine. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Three field goals. Like three field goals. I like it. Forty-five. Nine. They That's turn, hard, yo. They turn up this week. That's hard. I they, like that. I want that. Yeah. Jameis Winston turning I want that. it over. Yo, bro. They average. Now, granted, you can say the Ravens defense might allow more, but I think they're going to turn up. They only average like 15 points a game. Yeah, they're, they're trash. Big on. trash. Yeah, they trash on offense. And they give up 20, like 23 or 24 or something like that. Yeah. They can't stop the run. And Lamar's going to be able to throw. I think the team has been giving, been quitting on them. Maybe Jameis comes with one of them speeches that gets them more hype. You know what I mean? Because it looks like they was quitting on Deshaun Watson. You can agree with whether you I mean, like that man, or not. I mean, man, $250 million, man. I can see a little dissension. So it, it could be one of them weeks where they, you the know, you catch... finesse of all time Jesus in NFL Christ. history. He's paying They got to make a movie I'm not mad at him, bro. Well, it wasn't really the finesse. They gave yeah. it to him. They gave it to they him. They got to make a movie out of it. It's not like he... Said, Thank you. Come again. You know, it's a finesse. Albert Hainsworth. When you when you have a crazy year in the Facts. contract year, and then you come back, you know and you don't care anymore. Yeah. They just gave him the contract. It's the Cleveland Clowns. We know how they get down, yo. Yeah. Like, come on, man. So anyway, forty five. I, I, listen, I think they they allow a hundred and what twenty something rushing yards. Come on, oh, they man. bought the <laughs> they bought the oh, they, the Ravens Talk getting and run that Ravens thing, getting at least two fifty minimum mm. this week, yo. Two fifty, yeah. yo. And they, I think they're gonna start scoring that well, man. I think, uh, like I said, some I like big it. plays and things are gonna go down. But uh, that's what I'm looking at, man. I respect. it. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 35 10. Um, I think we're gonna start out a little bit weird in that first quarter, and then this is gonna be the first week when the, that secondary really catches like the. All right, we in this. Marlowe gonna get a pick. Kyle Hamilton gonna get a pick. And Marcus, Marcus Williams, Williams is going to get a pick. pick yo. Yo. <laughs> is Marlowe playing? Is he? I thought he was. They said it's not this serious, but he hasn't. I don't think he's he's practiced yet. Yeah. Him. And, I, All right, then if I he, think if Zay he hasn't, hasn't either, but I don't expect him to be out. But that, that's because they that's because they did the hip drop on Zay. He a little guy, bro. Like the ankle joint. Yeah, yeah, we'll see by Friday. It'll be limited, and then by Saturday, it'll be, right. you know, he ready to probably. Well, I'm gonna go 35 10, and if Marlowe doesn't play, Wiggins going to get the pick. They might sit. I, I mean. You gotta take everybody serious, but I mean, it's one of the weeks where they. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Even on his end, if I was him personally, yeah, I'd probably be like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. You should this be able to even even y'all if y'all can handle acting weird. Yeah. You gotta be like, yo, the offense is no way they're gonna be able to stop the offense. They should. This should be one of them weeks. Yeah. That like it doesn't really matter. Yo, yeah. Like, I, I wouldn't be mad at that. So we'll, we'll see, but yeah, don't let it be a trap game. Just yeah. don't let it be. That doesn't yeah, mean you're gonna do lose, not. but don't let it be. I don't even want to mention some of the stuff that just just play hard, play smart, get through this game. And, no mistakes, uh, man. And uh, let, let Jameis Winston be Jameis Winston, you know the bad one. <laughs> yeah. Secondary, stay woke for real, bro. He's praying on that yeah, leg. Man. On to another week, man. Appreciate y'all. Oh yeah, like, rate, comment. Share that Subscribe. thing. Subscribe. Yeah, share, it share to everybody you everywhere. know that like the Ravens. Everywhere you and at, even people share that it to them. Be like, yo, coach class. Just say it to him and then tell him to look it up Rain on YouTube. Rain and huddle action all day. Yes, sir.